Okay, I hope that you had a good think about what shall means in each context. Let's see if you agree with my suggested answers. Okay, let me talk you through my thinking here. For number one, to be considered for this position, you shall file a job application by the 31st. The whole context of this sentence is setting out rules. For this to happen, you have to do this. So for me, this is creating an obligation, something you must do, which is why I think this is must. For number two, the conference shall, place what, shall take place once the venue has been confirmed. It's, the context here for me is all about the future. Once this is confirmed in the future, then we will be able to make another future decision. So this is all pointing towards the future, which is why I think this is will. You shall ask questions only when the speaker has finished his presentation is talking about the future, but it sounds a bit strange if we use will. You will ask questions only when it creates a future obligation. So what if I don't have questions? So I think this is really talking about permission, something you are able to do. And from that point of view, I think it's may. For number four, complaints shall be sent to the manager explaining the reason for the complaint. For me, the context behind this sentence is a hypothetical context. It's what you, what, what I'm trying to, trying to talk about this without giving away the answer straight away. If this happens, this is our advice. In other words, this is what you should do if this happens to you. So there's this hypothetical criteria, and but if that happens, this is what you should do, which is why I think it should. And for number five, parcels shall conform to the management in section two, or they will not be accepted. This is very much like the first sentence. This is the criteria for us to accept it. This must be met, which is why I think this is must. What did you think? Did you agree with my answers? I hope that you got similar answers, but once again, there are no specific correct answers. This is how I understood these sentences. And of course, if you came up with different answers, then this shows the ambiguity of shall. This is why we should not we should not be using this word because if I think one thing, you think a different thing, the reader might even think an even further different thing. So never use shall. Okay, with that being said, let's go on to lesson 15 and find out another word we should never use.